Speak Student. Permutations and combinations, Alashma. If you've ever considered the consequences of your actions, well, you're probably interested in the concept of possible outcomes, especially ever since you tried sneaking past that no trespassing sign outside the Willoughby place. You've had better ideas in your day. There are a couple of different methods we use to count outcomes, depending on whether or not the order of what we're counting uh, matters. For example, if you want to know how many different ways there are to arrange any three of those seven blouses you just shoplifted, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we know what you're talking about. As soon as one is in place in your closet, you'll have one fewer option for the next slot. So order definitely matters. For something like this, we'd use permutations. Well, the permutation formula is written as NPK, which is used to express the number of possible permutations of K objects from a set of N. All right, it can also be written N factorial over the quantity N minus K factorial, like this. In the case of the blouses, our N is seven, the number of blouses, and our K is three, the number of blouses we want to uh, organize. So plugging it into our formula, we'd have seven factorial over the quantity seven minus three factorial, or seven times six times five times four times three times two times one, over four times three times two times one. Well, the four, three, two, and one all cancel, leaving seven times six times five, or 210 possible permutations of three blouses. Well, hope you didn't miss the party. But what about when order doesn't matter? Like, what if you want to sell two of those dresses on the black market, blouse market, whatever, and you're deciding which two to take off the hangers. Well, here the order of the two doesn't matter, it's just a question of how many combinations of two you can select. Well, we've got a formula for this one too. N, C, R, or N factorial over R factorial times the quantity N minus R factorial, where it's R objects from a set of N objects. See, these are the R, these are the N. All right, well, we can plug again, replacing N with seven, and R with two to get seven factorial over two factorial times the quantity seven minus two factorial, or seven times six times five times four times three times two times one, that thing, all over two times one, times five times four times three times two times one. All right, we can start by canceling everything from the five on down the line here, which leaves us with just seven times six over two times one, which is 42 over two or 21. So 21 combinations of two dresses you could try hocking on the street, or uh, we suggest eBay. Just remember, permutations when order matters, combinations when it doesn't. Got that? All right, well, you'll have plenty of time to mull these over while you're serving your sentence in the youth detention center because shoplifting blouses is uh, not legal. Right now. Understand? Yeah, not good. What did the buffalo say to his son as he left for school? Bye, son. Okay, bad joke, but if you survived it, how about clicking the subscribe button below? And if you're looking for more jokes from yours truly, why not check out our website at www.schmook.com? And if you want to get updates on what's new, well, check us out on Facebook and Twitter, too. Please check our Facebook and Twitter pages, please.